Warm up. Warm up. I know, I'm like, okay, I'm sweating. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, you're recording. When you see the faces of like the kids in the audience like responding and excited to be there and like the eyes light up, I feel like I feel like that's kind of what's gonna happen. Like there's some kids that probably have never seen theater before, and so that might be some of their first experiences. It's kind of an honor to be a part of that. Well, I get to sing um, Rainbow Connection with Kermit the Frog, so that's pretty much the best, the best thing of my life. So I'm very excited to do that. Oh my gosh, I think the scene I'm most excited about is the monkey scene um, because we're gonna have these big like fluffy ears on, and it's the very, it's at the top of Act Two, I believe, and um, Yvette, who is our whistle, is sitting in the middle, and she's like petting us, and we like made like a Beyonce like moment. So I'm super pumped for that. Yeah. So I think just all the dance numbers and the singing and everything. I mean, it's a super amazing show, and I love like that I'm a part of it. And yeah, I'm super excited to for you guys to see the dance numbers because that's my favorite part. Um, my go-to dance. I have a go-to pose, and I'm always like standing like this, um, or like this, because I'm Dorothy. <laughs> I have a great number when you do dancing in the street, and it's great because I don't get to dance that much. I mostly do comedy. But yeah, well, I'm just into like sort of flailing my legs about. So anytime they give us a step, I just add a little more leg to it and bounce about a bit. Uh, I'm finding it uh, way more difficult than I thought I would uh, at my age to be bouncing around as much as I am, but uh, it's fun as long as I stretch first. <laughs> Very um, outgoing, curious, um, adventurous, and I'm excited for you guys. Well, it's interesting with Linda, uh, the way we've written it, she's very motherly. I have a 10 year old son, so I've been feeling very motherly to Mackenzie. I definitely feel like I want to help her on her journey, not just in the show, but also in life. So, yeah. The number one thing I need backstage is my steamer, the personal steamer. It's awesome. You put your face in, you breathe in all that steam, it makes the voice feel good. Besides, like, water? <laughs> like, water, snack, phone, whatever. Like, I love snacks. I eat all the time. I want, like, flip bars and bananas and apples. And that's it. So, like, a whole fruit basket, guys. Basically a fruit basket. <laughs> horrible to say, but Lay's potato chips are really greasy and they're really good for your throat. Now, you probably should eat bags and bags and bags, unfortunately I do, but if right before you sing, it's really good for your throat. I mean, that's my, no doctors told me that. Just other singers will tell you that. Um, definitely my phone, 100%. Um, maybe a soda, like Coke or something, um, and definitely snacks because I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> Granola bars, but my hidden in my bag that I don't let anybody see me eating is brown sugar and cinnamon frosted pop. Really special about Panto is uh, the interaction with the audience. Anytime you're on stage, you're interacting with the audience. They play a vital role. But with Panto, they really are a part of it, and they are cheering for the good guys. They're booing for the bad guys. We're going right out into the audience, talking to people, dancing with them, bringing people on stage. It's it's so joyful uh, to do that kind of theater and have that kind of give and take with the audience. So I, I tell everybody that comes in, it's just like, it's joy. It's joy. It's <laughs> I think the best part about this panto show, and specifically Wonderful Winter of Oz, is the integration of all the characters. You know, they're really trying to like come in and like do a lot of our dance steps, but then like break out and like be back in their character, but there's also like lines and everything. So I think that's gonna be a really great surprise for everyone to see all of a sudden like the scarecrow jump into dancing. So I think that'd be cool. I think anything that brings art and music and theater, just like the love of art to kids is so powerful and such a great This is definitely way different than anything I've ever done because I'm singing, dancing, and acting on stage in front of a bunch of people live, especially because I'm used to um, acting on like TV or singing in front of a crowd or you know something different. But doing all three at once is definitely a challenge. But um, I love it so much and I love theater, which I never thought that I would, but it's really awesome. It's so fun. It's going to be such a great family friendly show. There's dancing, there's singing, there's acting. You've got everything. There's a little dog who doesn't love dogs. Um, but I think it's just a great
great story and a great way like to create a new family, a uh, Christmas tradition for families. I think it'll just be super fun, so I don't know. Hey guys, it's Kenzie and I am playing Dorothy. I'm Phil Lamar and I'm playing the Tin Woodman. Hey guys, I'm Yvette gonzalez Sancer. I'm playing the Wicked Witch of West. I'm Jared Gertner, I'm playing the Scarecrow in the Wonderful Winter of Oz at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. And we're running from December 14th to the 30th, and you have to come see us. It's going to be probably the most fun you've ever had. Hey, hey.